Happy Friday. How you doing? Well, it's that time again. The Uncle Brian Happy Friday Week in Review. Yeehaw! Roundup video. How was your week? Hope you had a good week. We had a good weekend. Well, let's see what happened this week. Sanford showed his pickle sniffers how it's... Well, he didn't show. He doesn't show anything. There's a reason for that. People ask me, how come you don't show yourself to anything? Oh, I'm not about that. I'm, oh, there are other guys with channels that actually do hands-on work. I, I don't do hands-on work. You know, for a guy that says he, uh, a lot of times, you know, he's here for the newcomer. Help people save money on doing things that you can do at home yourself. He's never shown anyone how to do a fucking brake job. Isn't that something a newcomer would want to, you know, want to learn how to do? You know what I mean? It's not that difficult. He's never showed the installation of an intake manifold. He's never installed a piston. We did install a cam one time, but it wasn't his car. It was that guy's GTX with the 426 Hemi. And after that video was done, man, that car was out of there. Look at his split. I don't think that guy wants to talk to him again either. Remember that? The end cap and the fucking cam bearing for the fucking cam was too fucking big. He didn't realize it. You know, he doesn't check shit out. As soon as you see it, don't want to go in. You, okay, wait a minute. We'll take a measurement. Now nah, he takes a fucking hammer and he's pounding the fuck out of the cam at the end, trying to jam it in the fucking block. See, that's the only time he ever showed himself doing something. Hold on one second. Sorry about that. I had to let Zeus out. He was at the back door. Uh, <laughs> you know, and I know people that have been there with him, around him. They said, man, you should see him. The reason why he didn't want people to see him how he does things, he's so fucking unorganized, no patience, gets so aggravated, starts slamming tools down on the fender, lights up a cigarette, starts stomping around like a little kid pulling a temper tantrum, mumbling to himself, mumbling to himself, you know, <laughs> goes back there, he goes at it again, he looks like a monkey trying to fuck a football, you know. It's comical to watch him, how incompetent he is. That's why he doesn't have any videos showing him actually doing something. <laughs> well, I heard, uh, last I heard this week on him, there was a couple of things that was funny. He's getting into rattle cans of rust -Oleum spray paint and telling his pickle sniffers how to do real mean power shifts and you got to yank it with anger and... Teaching those pickle sniffers how to fuck up their transmission. You know what I mean? He gets a big kick out of fucking shit up. You know? How to break shit. All this shit's junk, so it really don't matter too much. But if somebody does have a decent guy, you want to listen to this guy? Good luck. <laughs> then again, there was that one time he talked that guy into doing a fucking neutral drop. Scatters the transmission. Fool it all over the fuck. He made one big mess out of that. You know, I'm quite sure the guy that was renting to him at that World Global Headquarters, I'm sure he does not miss Sanford at all. He made a fucking mess out of that place, too. Like he did at Storage of Rock City. Turned it into a fucking junkyard chunk all over the fucking place. Encroaching in other people's space. Well, they're not using it back there. Why can't I put my cars there? You know, you're not paying for the rental space, you fucking asshole. They don't belong there. You know, at Sammy's. His arrogance, his ego, his narcissism, he thinks he can do whatever the fuck he wants. You know? Whatever he wants. Uh, oh, yeah. I bet that fluid stain is still there, <laughs> you know? I remember one time he did, he was power washing on Slant 6 out back. Real nice concrete pad. You know, that was a nice place. Till he came along. Uh, nice clean concrete pad. He power greased it all up, made a fucking mess out there. <laughs> Unbelievable. But hey, while he's doing this shit, he doesn't have to work on any of his projects. What's going on with the mule car? I'm, I'm going to repeat this again. It's worth it. Any progress on a mule car? I'm listening. Come on, I'm listening. Any progress with that propane engine? Uh, isn't that going to go on the mule car? Isn't that one of his many test engines? <laughs> Doesn't he have another slant six? Whatever happened to that four-liter Jeep, the other Jeep, he was going to rebuild that engine. Did that ever get rebuilt? 
Now he's got that 426 Hemi block sitting there. That thing is fucking pathetic. All fuck. So Brian, it's all it's fucking rusty, cracks, hole. It's a fucking... And that's it, a fucking block. And you pickle sniffers are all excited. Yeah? What do you think he's going to do with that? Nothing. <laughs> Does he have the internals? A crank? <laughs> Rods? Pistons? Heads? <laughs> Do you have anything for that? No, just that piece of fucking junk sitting there. Talking about it's a Hemi. You figure he mentions the word Hemi, man. You guys run like flies to a pile of shit. <laughs> Gotta go check out that Hemi. Gotta go take a bite of that shit. You know? Unfucking believable. And then I heard, I heard tragedy. I heard tragedy struck on him. Uh, YouTube has suffered a major loss. Java gave him a big farewell speech. <laughs> and he showed his fat foot on the thumbnail. He said, Brian, as you see, yeah, you see, he's got a thumbnail. You see his fat hoof. Fucking hoof. <laughs> Who the fuck wants to look at his fucking foot? <laughs> like I said before. I think he showed his fat leg before, too, right? I said, the good thing was his dick didn't swell up, man. Who the fuck would want to see that thing? <laughs> In a big, long goodbye speech, why he won't be around for a while. And from what people tell me, he does this every now and then. You know, he makes his official departure from YouTube every now and then. Then he's back in a couple of days. <laughs> Check the fucking Rolling Stones. Kiss Motley Crue. Uh... <laughs> our boys Errol Smith, our Boston Bad Boys, once again, they're launching another farewell tour. These bands have been doing farewell tours since the fucking 90s, but they don't go away. <laughs> they're like fucking herpes. They don't go away. They announce a farewell tour. They do it, and then they're back again. They don't fucking go anywhere. Just to get attention, draw up ticket sales. Jabba does this, draw up attention, and get sympathy. And once again, he's putting out all his personal shit. It only comes back to bite him in the ass, like, right now. <laughs> oh, he's looking for sympathy again. He's got all kinds of health problems again. I guess his hoof is all swollen again. He can't breathe. He's got to go to the hospital. Don't have insurance. Boo-hoo, poor me. What am I going to do? I might have to go on disability. And this, and that, and the other thing, and then... He's got a court case coming up. Why the fuck is he saying all this shit? <laughs> You're going away, just fucking go. Somebody said, ah, he'll be back in a couple of days. <laughs> he'll be back. <laughs> He's done it 20 times before. He'll be back. Don't worry, he'll be back. You know. Uh, <laughs> He's got a court case coming up, but it's nothing criminal. Uh, Maybe it's just a civil suit. He got served as summons by the city. His neighbors are complaining about all the rat and vermin infestation spreading to their property from his with all that fucking junk he's got laying around. Do you know that shit attracts mice and rats and raccoons and shit? You know what I mean? All the tall high weeds, grass, piles of wood, this, that, junk, cars. You know what I mean? They live in that shit. You know what I mean? They thrive in it. And it spreads throughout their neighborhood. You know what I mean? Anyway, anyway, anyway. Oh, man, this is too fucking funny. But I gave you an idea since, you know, all these bands, you know, maybe the next one that goes out on their next farewell tour, maybe they could they should take Jabba with them, follow them as their opening act. You can go up on stage with a Chevy, fuck around with it for an hour, you know, kill time when a man gets ready to come out, you know, <laughs> to do their main show. Go fuck around with a Chevy for an hour, get it just about ch started, chug, you know, for 10, 20, 30 seconds, maybe a whole fucking minute, then it'll cut a fight and leave. Then the announcement comes out. And now, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, bro. <coughs> ah, God. Dude, what the fuck did you eat? The Rolling Stones. <laughs> anyway, I guess that's about it. So you know what I always say, right? In my Happy Friday video, right? I'm going to throw you with a curveball this time. Have a great weekend. Have fun. Stay safe. And bleep, bleep, bleep. That's all, folks.